morning and welcome to the Hampton City Schools Citizen of the Month Luncheon. I'm Carolyn Bowers, the Public Relations Specialist for Hampton City Schools and Clerk of the School Board, and I'm proud to serve as MC today. Congratulations to each and every one of you for your selection as Citizen of the Month. As Citizens of the Month, your school has not only recognized your hard work, but has selected you to represent the school. In case you do not recognize the importance of that, I'm going to say it again. You represent the very best of your school. You are selected based on scholarship, character, the respect and courtesy you show for others, responsibility, and sportsmanship. You are a leader, and other students will look to you as a model for their behavior. And all of us in this room today are honored to recognize you and thank you for your role as a good citizen in our schools and our community. So congratulations to each and every one of you on your selection as Citizen of the Month. It is now my pleasure to introduce our school superintendent, Dr. Jeffrey Smith. So let me start by saying good morning. Good morning. Oh, great. Let's do it one more time. Good morning. I want to start by saying that this indeed is one of my most, I think, favorite uh, events of the school year uh, because we get an opportunity to really celebrate you. So we want to take this moment and ask that you would give yourselves a hand and give each other a hand as we celebrate. As Ms. Bowers has already said, that today is an opportunity for us to not only acknowledge but to thank each of you uh, for who you are and the great work that you're doing in school. You have certainly demonstrated the importance of safety and also not only safety, but to say that you're concerned about each other and all of your peers in the school. And so we share this time with you because it is a very important opportunity for us to recognize who you are and the great things that you're doing. I thought that it would be appropriate for me to really take a few minutes to talk about the characteristics of a good citizen. Let's start with honesty. Honesty is the basic theme of good citizenship. A person must be honest with himself or herself in order to be a good citizen. Secondly, compassion. Compassion is the emotion of caring for people and for other living things as well. Thirdly, respect. Respect is similar to that of compassion, but different in some ways as well. An important aspect of respect is self-respect. Whereas compassion is directed toward others, a good citizen has self-respect, respects for others, and respects rules and laws as well. So give yourselves another hand for doing all of those great things. So yes, it's about self-respect and respect for others. So from honesty, compassion, respect comes responsibility. Responsibility is about actions, our actions, and just doing the right thing. Not just doing the right thing when others are looking, but just doing the right thing even when others may not be looking. So I know that you're here today because you have all of those qualities and characteristics and we're proud of you. You are the future of Hampton and it is without question that Hampton certainly looks bright. We're very proud of you and we're encouraged by your leadership and what you stand for. It is my honor now to recognize some special guests uh, who are joining us this afternoon, or still morning. Uh, let me start with school board members and ask that uh, Mrs. Henry, if you would kindly stand, let's recognize Mrs. Henry. We have Dr. Mason with us. Would you kindly stand, Dr. Mason? And also with us, school board member, Dr. Reginald Woodhouse. Would you kindly stand, Dr. Woodhouse? 
I know that there are council members with us. We're going to start first with our vice mayor, Vice Mayor Gray. Would you stand? Councilwoman Sneed, would you kindly stand for us? And Councilman Steve Brown, would you stand for us as well? And we also have with us our awesome city manager, city manager Bunting, please stand. And I, somehow or another, I think that we have school board member, Mr. Jason Samuels with us as well. Please stand, Mr. Samuels. I'd also like to take this opportunity to recognize the luncheon sponsors uh, who really give of themselves uh, in terms of support, but also financial support to make this happen. So I want to start with um, our HAEOP, the Hampton Association of Educational Office Professionals. I know that Ms. Bowers is a representative uh, with the HAEOP. Thank you for your continued support. Hampton Roads Educators uh, uh, Credit Union, Old Point National Bank, USI Insurance Services, and Town Bank. I believe that we have with us today uh, Ms. Susan Harmon from Old Point National Bank, a longstanding supporter of Hampton City Schools, and in particular, this luncheon as well. I would ask that you would kindly come forward and extend greetings to our young people as well as um, administrators who are present. And we also have, as Ms. Harmon is coming forward, our mayor, Mayor Donnie Tuck. Please stand. And as Ms. Susan Harmon is coming as one of our sponsors, I would ask that all of our administrators, our executive directors and principals and assistant principals, uh, please stand so that we could recognize you as well and thank you for your support. Good morning. I am honored to be here celebrating with you today. This event holds special meaning because we at Old Point, hold, we at Old Point take good citizenship very seriously. As a company, we believe in being good partners in the communities we serve, and as employees, we believe in being good citizens where we work and live. That is why it's so special to be celebrating with you today. Each of you have been selected because you have demonstrated good qualities of citizenship. You have set yourselves apart as role models. As good citizens in school, you have laid the foundation to grow into good citizens as adults. So always stay true to this foundation and you will find success in future careers and in life. We are very proud of each and every one of you. And on behalf of Old Point National Bank, congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Smith, and thank you to our five sponsors, and a big thank you to Ms. Harmon for joining us today. Old Point has been a sponsor of this luncheon for many, many years, and we always welcome their sponsorship. As Dr. Smith already indicated, this special event would not be possible without their support. So we truly appreciate their partnership and their advocacy for public education, and we love being able to show off our outstanding students, you guys. Now's the time, what it, now, it's the time for what everyone has been waiting for, the delicious food. We will come by your table and let you know when it's time for you to get in line for the buffet. But before eating, I ask that our school board members, city council members, superintendent, sponsors, and speakers pause for a quick photo up front. Thank you. Hello, my name is Kaden Moody. Hello, my name is Jalen Abner. Hello, my name is Darnell Hollier. And, and we, we attend, attend Aberdeen Elementary, Elementary School. School. Hello, my name is Diamond Sampson. Hello, my name is Brian Ellis. Hello, my name is Bryce Sales. Hello, my name is Patrick Pearson. Hello, my name is John Sad. Hello, my name is Candy Richardson. Hello, my name is Meadow Farrell. Hello, my name is Nevea Holly Melvin. And, and we, we attend Hampton High. Hello, my name is Shayla Lefebvre. Hello, my name is Brianna Pleasant. Hello, my name is Tyze Humphrey. And, and we, we attend, attend Lindsay Middle, Middle School. School. Hello, my name is Zion Gilbert. 
Hello, my name is Christian Gerald. Hello, my name is Jackson Humphreys. Hello, my name is Lily Humble. And, and we, we attend Barron Elementary School. Hello, my name is Ayana. Hello, my name is Raya. Hello, my name is Jaden. Hello, my name is Angela. And, and we, we attend Mason Elementary. Hello, my name is Chevelle Smith. Hello, my name is Ahmad Talib. Hello, my name is Messiah Melvin. Hello, my name is Jamar Osifo. And we attend Burbank Street. Hello, my name is Anna Olson. Hello, my name is Kyla Blackman. Hello, my name is Isaiah Butler. Hello, my name is Courtney Wright. And, and we, we all attend Taylor Elementary School. Hello, my name is Luna Flores. Hello, my name is Cameron De La Haya. Hello, my name is Gabriella Escalon. Hello, my name is James Johnson. And, and we, we attend Lakeway Elementary. Hello, my name is Angel Best. Hello, my name is Ayana Singleton. Hello, my name is Tanzi Davis. Hello, my name is Nolan Bone. And, and we, we attend Booker Elementary. Hello, my name is Sean Smith. Hello, my name is Riley Brown. Hello, my name is Riley Companion. Hello, my name is Trisha Cow. Hello, my name is Raquel Daniels. Hello, my name is Madison Haynes. And, and we, we attend Kickatan High School. Hello, my name is Cameron Copeland. Hello, my name is William Terhim. Hello, my name is Mia Suber. Hello, my name is Jenny Crandon. Hello, my name is DJ Graham. And, and we, we attend Sims Middle School. Hello, my name is Shamari Bonds. Hello, my name is Siobhan Watkins. Hello, my name is Adora Solorio. Hello, my name is Peyton Rountree. And, and we, we attend Armstrong Elementary. Hello, my name is Kaylee Ames. Hello, my name is Jace Patterson. Hello, my name is Troy Luster. Hello, my name is Carlito Lee. Hello, my name is Amia Boswell. Hello, my name is Zanaya Heflin. Hello, my name is Simone Mallory. And, and we attend Andrews Creek 8 through 8. Hello, my name is Naomi Goff. Hello, my name is Dora Richardson. Hello, my name is Denisha Drake. Hello, my name is Jasmine Bell. We and attend Bassett Elementary School. school. Hello, my name is Juan Bautista. Hello, my name is Joey Bowers. Hello, my name is Alana Edwards. Hello, my name is Ashley Hagen. My name is Andrew Fisher. Hello, my name is Ayat Bumadi. And, and we attend Beavis High School. <laughs> Hello, my name is Isaiah Fountain. Hello, my name is Shania Turner. Hello, my name is Azaria Thompson. Hello, my name is Tamia Jackson. And, and we, we attend Bryan Elementary School. school. Hello, my name is Brianna Perry. Hello, my name is Danita Saunders. My name is Kate McCullough. Hello, my name is Elijah Nixon. And we, we attend, attend Smith Elementary School. Hello, my name is Alyssa Sparks. Hello, my name is Destiny Jones. Hello, my name is Maya Williams. Hello, my name is Katalia Bowie. Hello, my name is Emily Gonzalez. Hello, my name is Mariah Miller. Hello, my name is Aiden Miller. And we, we attend Sprouty Gifted Center. Center. Hello, my name is Kalia Mays. Hello, my name is Karan Gabriel. Hello, my name is Mustafa Jabri. Hello, my name is Anaya Williams. And we attend Forest Elementary. Hello, my name is Michaela Howard. Hello, my name is Nevaeh Mack. Hello, my name is Shane Hawkins. Hello, my name is Anthony Fripp. My name is Lila Little. Hello, my name is Charles Ooh. And, and we, we attend Phoenix Phoenix. Hello, my name is Amir Pierre. Hello, my name is Anai Mack. Hello, my name is Teresita Long. Hello, my name is Cassie Elliott. Hello, my name is Sean Lee. Hello, my name is Amari Ferguson. And, and we attend Phoenix Pre-K through 8. Hello, my name is Taylor Ferrer. Hello, my name is Nakaya Stevens. Hello, my name is Labaisha Broadbelt. Hello, my name is Jelani Rollins. Hello, my name is Isaiah Tyler. Hello, my name is Ricky Worthington. Hello, my name is Michaela Montgomery. And we attend Bethel High School. Hello, my name is Jamie Browning. Hello, my name is Anaya McGraw. Hello, my name is Shania Tanner. Hello, my name is Mason Schreiber. And, and we, we attend, attend Craft Elementary School. Hello, my name is Markel Folger. Hello, my name is Nicoletta Howe. Hello, my name is James Lauren Google. Hello, my name is Isha Hassan. Hello, my name is Understanding Miller. Hello, my name is Emily Phillips. And we attend Trent Middle School. Hello, I'm Tyler Fields. 
Hello, my name is Jaden Brown. Hello, my name is Gianna Price. Hello, my name is Julia Stokes. And, and we attend, attend Cooper, Cooper Elementary School. Hello, my name is Dorian Parker. Hello, my name is Lee Watkins. Hello, my name is Tracy Anga. Hello, my name is Nia Thompson. And, and we, we attend Tucker Cass Elementary, Elementary School. School. Hello, my name is Dia Moran. Hello, my name is Shade waller stiff Hello, my name is Capone Ukraine. Hello, my name is Jalosa Hello, my name is Missy Jane. Hello, my name is Emma Kenyon. And, and we, we attend Eden Middle School. Hello, my name is Joseph Walzak. Hello, my name is Bianca Jones. Hello, my name is Tashawn Jones. Hello, my name is Cassidy Covington. And we attend Carrie Elementary. Elementary. Hello, my name is Jackson Thomas. Hello, my name is Molly Musso. Hello, my name is Violet Espejo. Hello, my name is Naomi Roberts. And, and we attend Asbury, Asbury Elementary. Elementary. Hello, my name is Jalen White. Hello, my name is Amaya Cooper. Hello, my name is Benjamin DeProfi. Hello, my name is Taylor Harris. Hello, my name is Tristan Jesus. Hello, my name is Aaliyah Davis. And, and we attend Jones Mack Middle School. Hello, my name is Alyssa Barrow. Hello, my name is Tessa Hooper. Hello, my name is Savannah Dell. Hello, my name is Theory Singleton. And, and we, we attend Phillips Elementary. Hello, everybody. Did you all enjoy that lunch? Let's give a nice hand to the folks here at Queen Street. Before we go on with our program, I do have a couple of other things. Um, we have another visitor here from um, our sponsor from Town Bank, Susan Harris. So I'd like to invite her to come on up and say a few words. Welcome, everyone. Hope you're having a great afternoon. What a delicious lunch. Um, I am with Town Bank. I'm the president of the Peninsula Division of the organization. And at Town Bank, we take a great deal of pride in being a good corporate citizen. And we strive for all of our employees to participate in nonprofit organizations, to uh, pursue fundraising activities, and to give their time to the communities that we serve. So welcome, we're proud to be a sponsor of this fine event. Thank, Thank take you. care now. Thank you. Thank you, we appreciate Town Bank's sponsorship. Um, one other thing before we move on to our speakers, um, we have a lot of people here helping today, and we've introduced the city council, the school board, the sponsors, and the administrators, but we do have some support folks here as well, so if you're in the audience, would you please stand? I guess they're all working. <laughs> okay, at this time, I would like to introduce our guest speakers, Paul Karnak and Joseph Bowers. They will come on up. Paul is our 2019-2020 Hampton School Board student representative, and Joey Bowers is the alternative representative. In the spring, the Hampton School Board accepts applications from rising juniors and seniors for the role of student board representative and alternate representative for the following school year. The student representative plays a non-voting -vote role on the school board. However, they have a very important role as their primary responsibility is to represent the voice of Hampton students during board discussions on issues and policies that directly affect the student body. Paul Karnak is our 2019-2020 student representative. He is an international baccalaureate student, a member of the Hampton High School marching band, jazz band, and symphonic band. He is a member of the varsity track and field team, Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society, and the Political Analyst Club. He also served as a sophomore class officer. Paul volunteers at the Math Counts Virginia Peninsula Chapter Competition, Go Rescue Adoption Center, and has served as an Academy of Hampton student ambassador for two years. Paul also attended the Governor's School during the summer of 2019. Joseph Bowers is this year's alternate representative. Joey is a member of the Marine Corps JROTC at Phoebus High School and served as the battalion commander during the 2018-2019 
and 2019-2020 school year. This past fall, he earned the MJROTC Legion of Valor Bronze Cross for Achievement, which only four cadets and the nation receive each year. He is a member of the JROTC Drill Team and Color Guard, the National Honor Society, and the National English Honor Society. Joseph volunteers at Bay Beagle Rescue, the Arthritis Foundation, and Armstrong School for the Arts. In addition, he serves guests during a night's welcome through the Hampton Health Program and participates in the Reese Across America Program annually at Arlington Cemetery. And Joseph is not only our speaker today, but he's also representing Phoebus High School as one of their good citizens. So please join me in welcoming our student representatives, Paul and Joey, who I might add are quite good examples of good citizens. And we'll let Ms. Uh, Paul Carnett go first. Good afternoon to all of you here. Thank you to the Queen Street North Worship Center for hosting us today. I'm encouraged by the support you have given and continue to give to this division. Thank you to our school board officials and our superintendent, Dr. Smith, for being here to celebrate our students and their accomplishments. Most of all, thank you to all of you students who have been leaders in your community and who have set an outstanding example of citizenship whether it was easy or whether it was hard. You are an inspiration to all of us. My name is Paul Karnak, and it is truly an honor to address you all today as your student representative for the appointment term 2019-2020. One of my favorite parts of this position is celebrating the accomplishments of our students inside and outside of the classroom, from pushing us over the top to achieve 100% accreditation without conditions, to representing us well out in the community, out in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and wherever you may go. My goal is to share my story in case it helps shine a light on the path that you may take. I first entered Hampton City Schools in kindergarten through Armstrong Elementary School, and I attended until I was in the third grade. Although you may not believe it, I was quiet and I was even shy. I could not imagine that I would be in this position that I am today. I transferred to Spratly Gifted Center from the third grade to the eighth grade, and while I cared about things going on in my community, I did not really know how to go about changing things. The extent of my volunteerism was largely within the school walls. I had an idea of what I wanted to be, a vision of what I wanted to do and how I wanted to make a mark on the world, but I did not know how to follow through. I may have been a student of the month a few times, but I was never actually a citizen of the month. I want to emphasize this because I believe that when it comes to community service, it does not matter how you start or when you start, but rather what matters is what you do with it and where you go. When I became a ninth grade student at Hampton High School, I was faced with many new opportunities. I was in a school that no longer held 300 or 600 students, but one that held 1,500. I had many new people to look up to as role models and as mentors. This is key to why I'm honored to speak with you today. Others helped me, and I hope that I can help you. Through one of my first mentors, I learned about the position of the Hampton City Schools student representative to the school board, and I decided that that was the example I wanted to follow. To me, it embodied so many good things about being a good citizen. I could not apply for the student representative position until I was a rising junior, but that did not stop me. I stayed involved in my school, and I represented Hampton City Schools as an Academies of Hampton ambassador. I continued to volunteer inside and outside of school when I applied to be the student representative in April of 2019, and I was selected to take on the role in May before being formally appointed in July. As the student representative, it is now not only my challenge to be a good citizen, but to celebrate examples of good citizenship. Each one of you in this room has set that standard and achieved greater. Each one of you has gone above and beyond the call of your daily lives. This is why I'm so proud and so honored to be speaking with you today. 
No matter how much of a good student you are, if you do not take the time to lift others up along the way, then you will miss valuable opportunities to make our community stronger. As citizens of the month, you have accepted that mission with continuing resolve. Thank you all for being here, and thank you for making our schools, our city, and our world a better place. Thank you. Well, good morning, or should I say afternoon, everyone. Uh, it is an honor to be here today. And I would first like to thank the members of the school board, uh, Superintendent Dr. Smith, uh, the division leadership team, and members of city council, distinguished guests, and most importantly, you, the good citizens of Hampton City Schools. Um, thank you all for giving me and Paul this amazing opportunity to be here today. My name is Joey Bowers. I am a senior at Phoebus High School, and I have the pleasure of serving as one of these student representatives for the 2019-2020 school year. To start, to start off, I would like to share a piece of wisdom that was shared with me a couple years ago. If each of you were given $86,400 each day, how would you spend each of these dollars? Show of hands, anybody would like to, to say anything? Yes, ma'am, you're right there. Say again, I can't hear you. Give to the community, okay. Yes, sir. Buy houses for the homeless, okay. All right, anybody else? Yes, sir, you in the green shirt. Say again. Charity, okay. Well, I can tell you all are good citizens, Chip, or good citizens because it seems like uh, all your... Uh, contributions are going to others instead of yourself. So, if, what if I told you that each day, everyone is given something that is priceless, something that cannot be bought, cannot be sold, and something that's far more valuable than money? Anybody have any idea what this thing is? Close? No, it, it's not close. Kindness? It's a, it's a good try. Love? I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's time, just simply time. Each day, every single one of us is given 86,400 seconds, and we get to decide how we spend each of these seconds. Some of us choose to spend these seconds to perform good deeds, like serve our communities, help others, or make someone else's life better. My question for each of you here today is, how are you spending your 86,400 seconds? If you are not working to make someone else's life better, then you are quite simply wasting your time. Each one of you here today are here for a reason. You have chosen citizenship over self. Each one of you have proven that you have set a higher standard for yourself and those around you, and also your community. You have shown true integrity in yourselves, and integrity, for those you might not know, is the act of doing the right thing when no one is looking. As good citizens, you do not do what you do in hopes of gratification, praise, or hoping that you'll be caught in the act of excellence. Greek philosopher Aristotle once said, you are what you repeatedly do. Therefore, excellence ought to be a habit, not an act. Don't ever forget that. You are here today because you have chosen to live a life of excellence. You are truly extraordinary people. Good citizens do not follow the crowd. They lead from the front. They set the example and are not afraid, and not, and are not afraid to do the right thing. Many of you here have the ability to take charge and lead from the front. Famous World War II general, General George Patton, once said, lead me, follow me, or get out of my way. One of my favorite quotes, by the way. <laughs> Remember that you are here today because you are not worried about doing what's cool or what's popular. Each one of you here are not a copycat. You are an individual, and each one of you here are capable of doing anything that you put your mind to. 
and don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. Uh, you are in command of yourself in your future. Don't waste your time trying to live someone else's life. And don't let anyone define what you can and cannot do. I'm trying to follow along. With all of this, I leave you all here today with one last question. Ask yourselves every day, what am I doing today that my future self will thank me for? What are you doing today that your future self will thank you for? How are you spending your 86,400 seconds each day? The universe is a blank canvas, and every single one of you are painters waiting to draw your own story. No matter what you do, no matter what happens in life, never give up in yourself and never give up on others. Failure is only temporary, quitting lasts forever, but the legacy that you build lasts till the end of time. Thank you all for being here today. Congratulations on this outstanding achievement and I wish each and every single one of you the best of luck in achieving your goals, your dreams, and your future aspirations. Thank you. Thank you both so much. And we have a little token of appreciation for you speaking today. There's one for Paul, there's one for Joey. We truly appreciate your time and the great advice you have given our young people today. I know our guests thoroughly enjoyed hearing from you both and are hopefully inspired to fill your shoes in the future as Hampton School Board student representatives. And if we have any rising juniors or seniors interested in the student representative position, I encourage you to reach out to Paul and Joey to learn a bit more about the positions. Applications will be available around mid-March. Be, on on be on the outlook as we will push that information out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, along with our HCS website. Let's give them one more round of applause. Before we close, I'd like to thank our sponsors again, and most importantly, congratulate our Citizens of the Month. We are all here today because of each of you. We encourage you to keep doing the great things you are doing and to continue to be that leader for your peers in your school and community. Let's have a round of applause for all your hard work. Shortly, we will dismiss our students. I'll be calling bus numbers from the podium, and once you hear your bus number, it will be time to line up in the front foyer. Also, don't forget your packets, which will include a schedule sharing when this luncheon will air on Channel 46. Congratulations, and have a great day.